Unemployment Insurance Weekly claims seasonally adjusted data in the week ending June 6. The advance figure for seasonally adjusted initial claims was 1,542,000, a decrease of 355,000 from the previous week's revised level. The previous week's level was revised up by 20,000 from 1,877,000 to 1,897,000. The four-week moving average was 2,002,000, a decrease of 286,250 from the previous week's revised average. The previous week's average was revised up by 4,250 from 2,284,000 to 2,288,250. The advanced seasonally adjusted insured unemployment rate was 14.4% for the week ending May 30, a decrease of 0.2 percentage point from the previous week's revised rate. The previous week's rate was revised down by 0.2 from 14.8 to 14.6%. The advance number for seasonally adjusted insured unemployment during the week ending May 30 was 20,929,000 a decrease of 339,000 from the previous week's revised level. The previous week's level was revised down by 219,000 from 21,487,000 to 21,268,000. The four-week moving average was 21,987,500, a decrease of 404,750 from the previous week's revised average. The previous week's average was revised down by 54,000 from 22,446,250 to 22,392,250. Unadjusted data The advance number of actual initial claims under state programs, unadjusted, totaled 1,537,122 in the week ending June 6, a decrease of 82,886 from the previous week. The seasonal factors had expected an increase of 271,266 or 16.7% from the previous week. There were 220,186 initial claims in the comparable week in 2019. In addition, for the week ending June 6, 42 states reported 705,676 initial claims for pandemic unemployment assistance. The advance unadjusted insured unemployment rate was 13.0% during the week ending May 30, a decrease of 0.1 percentage point from the prior week. The advance unadjusted number for persons claiming UI benefits in state programs totaled 18,919,804, a decrease of 178,671 or minus 0.9% from the preceding week. The seasonal factors had expected an increase of 127,607 or 0.7% from the previous week. A year earlier the rate was 1.1% and the volume was 1,538,065. The total number of people claiming benefits in all programs for the week ending May 23 was 29,505,027, a decrease of 662,143 from the previous week. There were 1,545,606 persons claiming benefits in all programs in the comparable week in 2019. During the week ending May 23, extended benefits were available in the following 30 states, Alaska, California, Connecticut, Georgia, Hawaii, Illinois, Iowa, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Montana, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Puerto Rico, Rhode Island, Vermont, Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Initial claims for UI benefits filed by former federal civilian employees totaled 1,968 in the week ending May 30, a decrease of 92 from the prior week. There were 1,166 initial claims filed by newly discharged veterans, a decrease of 251 from the preceding week. There were 15,269 former federal civilian employees claiming UI benefits for the week ending May 23, an increase of 421 from the previous week. Newly discharged veterans claiming benefits totaled 11,866, an increase of 473 from the prior week. 
During the week ending May 23, 42 states reported 9,715,948 individuals claiming pandemic unemployment assistance benefits and 32 states reported 518,942 individuals claiming pandemic emergency unemployment compensation benefits. The highest insured unemployment rates in the week ending May 23 were in Maine 26.9, Nevada 24.3, Michigan 21.7, Hawaii 20.1, Puerto Rico 19.0, New York 18.7, Pennsylvania 17.5, Georgia 17.2, Massachusetts 16.8, and Rhode Island 16.6. The largest increases in initial claims for the week ending May 30 were in Florida, plus 32,296, California, plus 25,372, Oklahoma, plus 16,662, and Mississippi, plus 158, while the largest decreases were in New York, minus 107,161, Michigan, minus 25,284, Texas, minus 21,040, Pennsylvania, minus 18,050, and Washington, minus 17,507. Unemployment insurance data for regular state programs week ending, June 6. Initial claims, seasonally adjusted, 1,542,000. Initial claims, not seasonally adjusted, 1,537,122. Four-week moving average, seasonally adjusted, 2,200,000. Week ending May 30th. Insured unemployment, seasonally adjusted, 20,929,000. Insured unemployment, not seasonally adjusted, 18,919,804. Four-week moving average, seasonally adjusted, 21,987,500. Insured unemployment rate, seasonally adjusted, 14.4%. Insured unemployment rate, not seasonally adjusted, 13.0%. Initial claims filed in federal programs, unadjusted, week ending June 6. Pandemic unemployment assistance 705,676. Week ending May 30. Federal employees, UCFE, 1,968. Newly discharged veterans, UCX, 1,166. Persons claiming UI benefits in all programs, unadjusted, week ending May 23. Regular state 19,022,429. Federal employees 15,269. Newly discharged veterans 11,866. Pandemic unemployment assistance 9,715,948. Pandemic emergency UC 518,942. Extended benefits 2,222. State additional benefits 4,222. STC, workshare 214,016. Total 29,504,914. Footnotes. SA, seasonally adjusted data, NSA, not seasonally adjusted data, 1. Prior year is comparable to most recent data. 2. Most recent week used covered employment of 145,671,710 as denominator. 3. Information on the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance PUA program can be found in UIPL 16-20, PUA program information. 4. Information on the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation PEUC program can be found in Unemployment Insurance Program Letter UIPL 17-20, PEUC Program Information. 5. Information on the EB program can be found here, EB Program Information. 6. Some states maintain additional benefit programs for those claimants who exhaust regular benefits, and when applicable, extended benefits. Information on states that participate, and the extent of benefits paid, can be found starting on page 4-4 of this link, Extensions and Special Programs PDF. 7. Information on STC, Work Sharing can be found starting on page 4-8 of the following link, Extensions and Special Programs PDF. 8. Totals include PUA unemployment for the appropriate corresponding week. Advanced state claims not seasonally adjusted. Initial claims filed during week ended June 6. U.S. total. 
Advance, 1,537,122. Prior week, 1,620,008. Change, minus 82,886. Note, advance claims are not directly comparable to claims reported in prior weeks. Advance claims are reported by the state liable for paying the unemployment compensation, whereas previous weeks reported claims reflect claimants by state of residence. In addition, claims reported as work share equivalent in the previous week are added to the advance claims as a proxy for the current week's work share equivalent activity. Seasonally adjusted US weekly UI claims in thousands. Week ending, June 6, 2020. Initial claims, 1,542. Change from prior week, minus 355. Four week average, 2,002.00. Pandemic unemployment assistance claims, not seasonally adjusted. PUA initial claims filed during week ended June 6. U.S. total. Advance, 705,676. Prior week 796,813. Change, minus 91,137. Note, information on the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance PUA program can be found in UIPL 16-20 PUA program information. Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation Claims, not seasonally adjusted. PEUC claims filed during weeks ended. U.S. total. May 23. 518,942. May 16. 222,694. Change, 296,248. Note, information on the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, PEUC, program can be found in Unemployment Insurance Program Letter, UIPL, 17-20, PEUC program information. Initial claims filed during week ended May 30th. Totals. State. 1,620,008. Last week. Minus 295,130. Year ago. 1,430,431. UCFE. 1,968. UCX. 1,166. Figures appearing in columns showing over the week changes reflect all revisions in data for prior week submitted by state agencies. 1. The Unemployment Compensation Program for Federal Employees UCFE, and the Unemployment Compensation for Ex-Service Members UCX, exclude claims filed jointly under other programs to avoid duplication. 2. Rate is not seasonally adjusted. The source of U.S. total covered employment is BLS. Unadjusted initial claims for week ended May 30, 2020. States with an increase of more than 1,000. State. Florida. Change, plus 32,296, state-supplied comment. Layoffs in the construction, manufacturing, wholesale trade, retail trade, and service industries. California, plus 25,372, layoffs in the service industry. Oklahoma, plus 16,662, states with a decrease of more than 1,000. State. New York. Change, minus 107,161. State supplied comment. Fewer layoffs in the health care and social assistance, retail trade, and accommodation and food services industries. Michigan, minus 25,284. Texas, minus 21,040. Pennsylvania, minus 18,050. Fewer layoffs in the accommodation and food services, health care and social assistance, and administrative, support, waste management, and remediation services industries. Washington, minus 17,507. Georgia, minus 16,336. Fewer layoffs in the retail trade, accommodation and food services, administrative, support, waste management, and remediation services, and transportation and warehousing industries. Illinois. Minus 11,878. Kentucky. Minus 10,725. Massachusetts. Minus 10,702. Oregon. Minus 7,887. Virginia, minus 7,863. New Jersey, minus 7,658. Ohio, minus 7,507. 
Iowa, minus 7,204. Fewer layoffs in the manufacturing, construction, health care and social assistance, and retail trade industries. North Carolina, minus 7,155. Fewer layoffs in the accommodation and food services, administrative, support, waste management, and remediation services, and manufacturing industries. Alabama, minus 6,584. Fewer layoffs in the manufacturing, administrative, support, waste management, and remediation services, retail trade, accommodation and food services, educational services, and transportation and warehousing industries. South Carolina, minus 6,470. Puerto Rico, minus 6,285. Minnesota, minus 5,557. Maine, minus 5,516. Arizona, minus 4,856. Louisiana, minus 4,627. Wisconsin, minus 4,306. Fewer layoffs in the accommodation and food services, and administrative, support, waste management, and remediation services industries. Nevada, minus 4,270. Colorado, minus 3,200. Tennessee, minus 3,184. Indiana, minus 2,609. Connecticut, minus 2,395. Arkansas, minus 2,344. Maryland, minus 2,071. South Dakota, minus 1,973. Delaware, minus 1,599. District of Columbia, minus 1,576. Hawaii, minus 1,438. Kansas, minus 1,204. New Hampshire, minus 1,139. Idaho, minus 1,081. Technical Notes. This news release presents the weekly unemployment insurance UI claims reported by each state's unemployment insurance program offices. These claims may be used for monitoring workload volume, assessing state program operations and for assessing labor market conditions. States initially report claims directly taken by the state liable for the benefit payments, regardless of where the claimant who filed the claim resided. These are the basis for the advance initial claims and continued claims reported each week. These data come from ETA 538, Advance Weekly Initial and Continued Claims Report. The following week initial claims and continued claims are revised based on a second reporting by states that reflect the claimants by state of residence. These data come from the ETA 539, Weekly Claims and Extended Benefits Trigger Data Report. A. Initial claims. An initial claim is a claim filed by an unemployed individual after a separation from an employer. The claimant requests a determination of basic eligibility for the UI program. When an initial claim is filed with a state, certain programmatic activities take place and these result in activity counts including the count of initial claims. The count of U.S. initial claims for unemployment insurance is a leading economic indicator because it is an indication of emerging labor market conditions in the country. However, these are weekly administrative data which are difficult to seasonally adjust, making the series subject to some volatility. b. Continued weeks claimed. A person who has already filed an initial claim and who has experienced a week of unemployment then files a continued claim to claim benefits for that week of unemployment. Continued claims are also referred to as insured unemployment. The count of U.S. continued weeks claimed is also a good indicator of labor market conditions. Continued claims reflect the current number of insured unemployed workers filing for UI benefits in the nation. While continued claims are not a leading indicator, they roughly coincide with economic cycles at their peaks and lag at cycle troughs, they provide confirming evidence of the direction of the U.S. economy. C. Seasonal adjustments and annual revisions. Over the course of a year, the weekly changes in the levels of initial claims and continued claims undergo regularly occurring fluctuations. These fluctuations may result from seasonal changes in weather, major holidays, the opening and closing of schools, or other similar events. Because these seasonal events follow a more or less regular pattern each year, their influence on the level of a series can be tempered by adjusting for regular seasonal variation. These adjustments make trend and cycle developments easier to spot.
At the beginning of each calendar year, the Bureau of Labor Statistics provides the Employment and Training Administration ETA, with a set of seasonal factors to apply to the unadjusted data during that year. Concurrent with the implementation and release of the new seasonal factors, ETA incorporates revisions to the UI claims historical series caused by updates to the unadjusted data.